Sometimes when you're doing editing, it's really helpful to be able to edit the audio of a clip separately to the video of a clip. Now there are a couple of ways to be able to do this and I'm just going to quickly run through them to show you how to do it and the sort of cuts and the sort of effects you can get with it. Firstly, I've got a little clip here, so let me play the uh, into out point. So I've got the C pulling back with pebbles underneath. Now say that I want to edit the audio and the video separately from these uh, because there's various reasons. Say I want to have the audio going all the way underneath but actually all I want to use is a tiny bit of the video. There's a number of ways of doing it. Firstly I could use these two icons here and just say drag the video down separately from the audio the audio down to the audio channel and then I can edit the video to make it as long or as short as I like and likewise I can do the same with the audio which is completely independent from the video. However there is a problem with this. The problem with having completely unlinked video and audio is that if I have lots and lots of clips in here and any of them have a relationship between the top and the bottom so there is a particular sound in one of my clips that really needs to be linked to a video above. If I've unlinked them and I shift one of the channels one way or the other then I'm going to lose that link and it'd be really hard to re-establish it. So how do I edit the audio and the video separately but still maintain that link? Well let me get rid of these two to start off with and then I can pull down this clip straight into my timeline and I'm going to zoom in a little bit. Okay, so there is my clip. And I want to be able to edit the audio and the video separately, but at the moment, if I click one, I edit them both, which isn't really what I want. I want to be able to edit the audio separate from the video. The answer is to use a modifier key, and in this case, the modifier key is the Alt on PC and the Option key on a Mac. What you need to do is firstly make sure your clip is not selected. That's what the clip looks like when it's selected. That's what the clip looks like when it's unselected. Firstly, unselect your clip. Then hold the Alt or the Option key down and select the bit that you want to modify. So say on this one I want to pull the beginning of the video in. I can now click and the video is independently moved from the audio. Likewise, I could pull the end in a bit. Click and drag. Now when that's selected, you don't actually need to carry on holding the Alt or Option key. So I've got no Alt or Option key held now, but because it has been selected using the Alt and Option key, I can move it independently. However, if I click away so nothing is selected, and then I go back and try and do it without the Alt or Option key, you'll see that that relationship with the audio underneath has been re-established. I've still got the result of my earlier editing, but the relationship has been re-established. And if I then want to edit one of these separately, I click away so nothing is selected, then I hold the Alt key, and then I can move my audio, say, as far out as I want it to go. Which in this case, I'm going to zoom in a bit, is all the way through. So I want all the audio there, and in actual fact, what I would do in this particular case is I would take down another copy of the audio, and take it all the way to the end of my production, so that my whole production has got a consistent audio underneath and then I will pull in lots and lots of separate clips over the top for this particular example. Now the end result is that I have audio starting before the video, so let me zoom in once again. I have audio here with no video and I have video finishing and then the audio continues and I can have another clip. This type of cut is very common in the documentary world where you can have the sound starting with perhaps a title over the top and then the image is coming in a bit later on. So let's just do that. Let's bring in a title clip. I've got one title clip in my project panel. If we pull that in and drop it over the top, you'll see that we have Welcome to Sea Houses, and as we pull through, it then comes into Welcome to Sea Houses, and that fades, and the clip continues. Now you could add all kinds of other bits and pieces. You could add on um, transitions and what have you to make that work. But this is just giving you an example. Now this cut here, because it looks like the letter J, is called a J cut. And this cut here, because it looks like the letter L, is called an L cut. So those are the sorts of ways you can have independent audio and video. Now you can still break the lock between the two of these, even after they're in your timeline. Say this part of your video you actually wanted here and you can't move the whole clip along because all you can do is pull out one end and pull out the other. What you can do is you can right click on your clip 
and go up to the unlink button here and when you click on unlink then click away and you can select the individual tracks and then I can shift the whole track over and I've maintained that actual bit of video and moved it to wherever I want it to be and if you get it to precisely the right place you want to relink it select that and hold the shift key or the control key and select the clip underneath right click and you can go back to link and now it tells you the distance that these two parts have been offset so this is now 5.1 seconds offset from where it originally was and this is minus 5.1 seconds from where it originally was in relation to each other but they are linked so if I start to edit this one it's going to affect the one below it unless I'm holding the auto or the option key so that's how you can unlink video how you can relink video how you can edit the video and the audio separately and how you can produce J and L cuts to make much better video. I hope you found this useful. My name's Andrew Davis and thank you for watching.